last time on Kakume, it turns out Bulma is a little more savvy than given credit for. She was able to not only survive, but briefly trap Sulaga within a device using a technique similar to the Mafuba. Shortly after, the wizard escaped and sent her hurling through a portal to a deadly planet. Here, Sulaga and Pepino make their final stand once and for all. Flowing. This was supposed to be a walk in the park. How are these Cretans putting up such resistance against him? Furiously screaming at the top of his lungs. The dire situation has Salaga losing his composure. He barks at Papino, maybe giving him a hard time, but he has no idea how much magic he's acquired over 403,986 years, and he intends to show him every last bit of it. As the battle rages on, Pino finds himself faltering in this grueling confrontation. His fusion of Saiyan strength and tough intellect has allowed him to hold his ground admirably against this formidable adversary. But this relentless onslaught is taking its toll. As Salaga morphs into a snarling monster, he bears down on Pepino with unbridled ferocity. He exposes his teeth in a disturbing sneer. I'm going to grind you into dust! He growled, his voice a guttural echo of his now primal nature. This threat delivered with the drive of a predator cornering its prey almost symbolic of Bulma's words from before. In a dramatic shift of strategy and form, Salaka taps into a hidden reserve of power, one that had previously been concealed under his calculated appearance and tactics. With a surge of dark energy, he's morphed into a feral beast, the embodiment of raw, untamed power. Quite the departure from his wizard persona, indicating a desperate escalation in his approach to the battle. Despite this revelation, our hybrid hero bellows that he's not impressed. He's gonna have to do more than that to worry him. <laughs> Predicting that the next blow is going to come from the left, Pepino knows that he's going to have to make something hard enough to absorb the impact. But instead, the monster does a reverse version of his usual anti-space punch, taking the boy completely by surprise. After the short beating, he knows that he can't take this for too long. Any more and he's done! Upon noticing that his foes put up a shield, Slaga cackles out that their dear scientist has activated his defense mechanisms. It seems he's running out of options! Snapping his fingers, it now looks like the mage has unleashed some kind of toxic smoke that easily passes through the barrier. The villain believes that this should get him out the front door without too much effort which it does. He's not even going to give the boy a chance to breathe. However, the smoke follows and surrounds him, but grabbing him. He unleashes another move, appearing to absorb his energy. Pepino can feel his vitality slipping away, and there's nothing he can do. As Boma pleads with him to hang on, this is actually a very recent technique being used. He copied it from a few creatures made of pure energy on planet bread. They wandered around with the sole aim of finding vitality to feed on. And now Pepino's falling apart because of it. What Salaga's referring to is actually verbatim the event he mentioned to Amaron in Chapter 11, when the Universe 14 characters were first introduced. No! Wake up! When Kibia goes rogue and takes matters into his own hands. First releasing his host from certain doom, then activating what he refers to as armor mode. Will this automate the process Pepino is using to block Salaga's attacks? While Boma tries to get her best view of what's happening, Salaga scoffs this off as just another one of his gadgets. He won't be surprising him again. This, like his many other tricks, are nothing more than a tin shield. Speaking not to his foe, but to the being living within his body. He realizes that Kibia really has been evolving on his own this entire time. In this story, Kibia works almost like Baby did in Dragon Ball GT, but in this instance, he's been able to improve himself while passively possessing his host. It's time to see how much that's worth! Changing blows, the villain screeches out in maniacal laughter that his new ability really hurts. Pepino is brilliant, that's for sure. 
So stop this if he can! And a breathtaking display of his dark powers. Slaga's transformation takes an even more astonishing turn. In the blink of an eye, he goes full metal Goro, growing not just two, like Tian, for instance, but four additional arms. But even six arms isn't enough. The hybrid warrior is able to recognize all of his positions to not end up in the path of his shots. He sees no other choice, things being how they are. He might as well pull this next one out. Now pulling a Frieza while brimming with dire tension. Salaga, now a towering figure more human centipede than human man, unleashes a devastating threat. The power he's harnessed is so immense, so potentially destructive, that it poses not a threat to just Pepino, but to everyone and everything in its path. You can't dodge this one! Slaga screeched, his voice a terrifying blend of malice and triumph. If you try to avoid it, it will destroy everything it touches! It will kill you and Bulma! His words, spackled with the certainty of impending doom, reverberate ominously across anything left for them to bounce off of. The fighters keep their eyes fixed on the impending cataclysmic force. The wizard has crafted a situation where his usual tactics of evasion and counterattacks are rendered ineffective. The only way to prevent a disaster is to confront this head on. And if the look in Pepino's eyes is anything to go off of, he's right. If he tries to do anything besides what his enemy has stated, it'll result in the doom of them all. Using his portal, Salaga will likely just get to saunter off back to Sadala to finish off his Saiyan comrades. He can't lose now! Not like this! Everyone is counting on him! If he can't do this, his interference will be for nothing! Our hero throws out his arms and tries to do what he can. Salaga howls for him to give up, let himself be overwhelmed. The wizard himself can even take away his pain if that'll make his choice easier. In the midst of this critical and perilous moment, as Salaga's devastating attack hurtles towards him, Pepino cries out with a voice resonating with defiance and conviction. Salaga, master of dimensions, you've already lost. For possibly the first time in this battle, the boy lets himself toss away his constant calculations and simply allows himself to live and die by his own words. As Salaga's massive energy ball surged forward, Pepino, rather than simply bracing for impact or trying to deflect it, took a more daring approach. He fired off his own attack directly through the heart of the oncoming key and towards Salaga himself, challenging its blunt power to overcome his own's piercing ability. Pepino's strategy turned the villain's own power against him, acting as cover for a strike to land. By launching his attack through Salaga's energy ball, he not only diminished its destructive potential, but also ensured that his move would reach Salaga with an element of surprise. Something he didn't see coming at all. He is not supposed to be able to impact him. But of course, that's not the case. Pepino had everything planned. As much as it likely pains him to know, it looks like he still had much left to learn, even after 400,000 years. Snapping in. Turning his key ball into confetti? We notice that the mage has willingly or unwillingly retracted his extra arms and returned to a more or less normal state. Our hero affirms that they've reached the conclusion of their battle. In a surprising turn, Salaga, acknowledging the reality of his situation, offers his congratulations to Pepino. Well done, hybrid! This admission being more just a concession of defeat, it's an acknowledgement of Pepino's strength, strategy, and resilience. His words, though spoken through gritted teeth, carry the weight of genuine recognition of his opponent's superiority in this battle. I must admit it. You've won. He relents. Has Salaga really been defeated or is this just another ruse? Even if he has been, how will Pepino and Bulma make it back to Sadala when they could very well be anywhere in all of reality? It's possible that they aren't just on another planet, but another realm entirely. Download Top Troops now using the link in the description or the QR code to join the troops. Live your medieval fantasy and build a powerful army.